I keep Someone staring at that door thinking yeah. somebody's coming Who's in. Who's coming through? I, wonder, I think it's a dude. I hope it's a dude. dude. I, I think, think it's a, a guy. A dude. I, I hope it's a guy. We, we need some testosterone. We need a man, yeah. Okay. I wonder where the 24-hour fitness is. Usually nothing's been that far. We are waiting for a surprise guest, and everyone's on time, except for Devor. Maybe she had another assignment. What, one that she created herself? <laughs> We're all a little concerned as to where she would be, because most people don't stay at the gym for four hours. How'd it go? Great, it went great. Did you work out this whole time? No. I have lousy, lousy, you got lost sense of direction. It's a man. It's a man. Hi. Well, I'm Dr. Stan Katz. Hello. And I'm a clinical psychologist, and I'm going to be working with you guys in some groups and individually. I'm going to be the man in the house. And maybe, because there's a man in the house, mm -hmm. we can talk about what it feels like to have a man in the house. You're not in the house. You're in the loft. So how's it feel to have a man in the loft? <laughs> cool. It's OK? <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't look so happy about it, but maybe it's better than, than your face is, is giving me. Okay. I don't know about the feeling of having a man in the house. You only came two minutes ago. You've had two minutes. You can do a quick assessment. I think you're bright as women. You could be bright as women. See if I can keep up with you gals, yeah. right? Okay. I felt some tension with my other housemates, and I believe that it has a lot to do with the deep-rooted feelings that they have with men. I'm Josie. This is my daughter, Chloe. This is our second time around in starting over house. Okay. And how's it feel to have a man around? How's it different? Because you're adding testosterone when it's a house full of estrogen. So it kind of makes it a little bit offset. Okay. I'm Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. And it's weird to have a man in the house. Why is that? I haven't had a man in the house for a long, long time, so. Mm. I think most of the women in the house have real issues with men. The whole notion of a man trying to come in and heal them is frightening to them. I really want to start on a, a note that I think hasn't been addressed, probably, and that is the issue of men, because all of you have issues with men. I'm here to sort of give you male perspective at times, to give you a clinical perspective at times, to maybe help you on a deeper level than the life coaches will, and in a different way. Our ideas about men come from where? Our father. So I'm wondering what kind of experience you had with your father, what that experience was, and how it impacts today. So what do you think you took away from your relationship with your father? I would say the one word is reliable slash dependable because that's the kind of father my father was. So do you see men as reliable and dependable? You know, I don't want to say the no one can compare to daddy. I don't want to say that. But I look for the traits that my father presented to me. So you expect men to be like your father, reliable, dependable, there when they say they're going to be there. Deborah talks about her father in very positive terms. Her expectations about how she wants to be treated by other men in her life is based on how her father treated her, which is very dangerous. My father was absent. Pretty much. So what was the guiding principle you took away? That men aren't there? That they right. leave? Men right. leave? Right. Exactly. Okay. So you um, sometimes have an expectation. Yes. And maybe you even leave before they leave. Yes. My dad left my family. I think that's impacted my relationships with men because I control them so they can't leave. And then if I feel like they're going to leave, I leave. Tawanda. Mine is like a two-part. My father was the perfect father, so I thought. And then he turned out to be a liar. So the way that I look at men now is that they start off wonderful, 
but then they will eventually lie and cheat. Hmm. Okay. Josie? Never really was there. And when he was, it wasn't pretty. And then he pretty much has his own family now with two other kids, and they've had their bedrooms, and I had a basement that pretty much was just kind of turned into a bedroom, but then I was asked to leave, so... I mean, it's just... It's not been good. I've had such bad luck with even trying to trust anyone like my father. Okay, go ahead, Sine. He chose my stepmother over me. Okay. I look at him as a weak person. When our fathers don't act the way we want them to act, when they didn't act the way we wanted to act, when our husbands don't, when our boyfriends don't. And so kind of learning about that process, those kinds of triggers, what happens, is something that we'll do in the future. I mean, think about when I walked in today. You didn't know who was coming through the door. You probably had some guesses. And a guy walked in the door, and you probably immediately had some first impressions, some thoughts. You may have had some negative, positive, thoughts that's all because what the way we've dealt with other men in the past yeah and how we how we kind of assess men now and what we expect from them yeah so in the future that's what we're going to be looking at a lot of those kinds of issues it just really sucks that all of us just have such a bad view on our father figures <laughs> someday her dad will acknowledge her and give her the love that she deserves. I want it so badly from my dad, and I probably always will. She's already affected by it, because she's only six months old, and I would hate to see what's going to happen when she's 16.